Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install ChatGPT on Google Doc. This will help improve your workflow and user's experience. Let's get started. To use ChatGPT on Google Doc, you need to download an extension. And to add an extension to your Google Doc, all you need to do is come to this section and click on extensions. Once you click on this, you get this drop down. In this section, you're going to see add-on and then click on get add-ons. This is going to load in the extension page for Google Docs. In this section, you want to come here and type in ChatGPT for Google Doc. Once you've inputted your search, simply click enter to search. You're going to see several options of this type of extension. Simply click on the one you want. So I'm going to select the first one. And then once you click on it, come to this section and then click on install and then click continue. This is automatically going to ask you for an account in which you want to use the extension. So simply select your account and then click on allow and then click on save. Once you have successfully followed this step, ChatGPT should be installed on Google Docs. Simply click on next and then click on done. Close this and you're going to get this tab in this section. So after installing and you do not find this tab in this section, the easiest way to call it up is to come back to extensions and then come here. You're going to find all the extensions that have been installed on add-ons. Simply hover over which of the extension you want to launch and then click on launch. This is going to launch the extension and then you can start using it. So let's go ahead and give it our first command. Once once you have given it a command, you can then come here and click on submit. So we got an error message which says that please set open AI API key in extension menu, GPT for sheet and doc. To configure your chat GPT for Google Doc, come back to extension again, click on extension and then over on GPT for sheet and doc. And then come to this section, you're going to see set API key. Simply click on this and then this is going to open the page where you can set your API key. So once in this page, you're going to be requested to enter your OpenAI API key. Now to get your OpenAI API key, you want to go to OpenAI Playground. Once on this page, you need to sign up for an account. And once you have an account, you can continue with the process. So simply come to this section where it says personal and click on this. And then come to this section where it says view API key and click on view API key. So your APIs are going to be listed in this section. If you do not have an API key, simply come to this section where it says create new secret key and click on this. In this section, you want to come here and click on create secret key. Just like that, you have successfully created an API key. So click on this to copy your API key and come back to Google Doc. In this section, you want to paste in your API key and then click on check. Once you have checked and it says that your open API key is valid, simply come here and click on save API key. And once you do this, you can then give it a command on what you want it to write. So let's go ahead and give it a command again. Once you've written a command, click here to submit. And just like that, you've been able to integrate chat GPT with Google Doc. So there are so many other functions you can still perform. You can simply come to this section and select an action, write custom prompt, change the tone to fix grammar and spelling, summarize and translate to. So if you do come down to this section, you're going to see use selection or document as text. So when you highlight a text and you tick on this, it's going to take the command from this. In this section, you'll be able to manage the insert settings. Here it says that insert at cursor slash below selection, insert at tag once you've added a tag, insert at the end of document, highlights in section and insert prompts in documents. In this section, you'll be able to manage the behavior, custom behavior, academic research, career counseling, copyright, customer support support agents, dating coach, DIY expert, financial advisors, the list is almost endless. So you can select which of the templates you want to use to write in this section. And below this, you can configure your open AI settings. You can select the model in which you want to use in this section, such as GPT-3. So if there was a GPT-4 function, you can select a GPT-4 function. But this usually includes paid membership before you can access a GPT-4. The temperature, the max response token, max input token, presence personality, frequency personality, and top P are for people who are familiar with using these settings. So that's all you need to do to download and install chat GPT for Google Doc. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, do make sure to subscribe, have that post notification bell turn on, and click on that like button. I hope to see you guys in my next video.